Braden Dombros. I'm a recording arts student here at the Jill and Tommy Lacuma Center for Creative Arts. Uh, here with us today is Tommy's bobblehead. Uh, we had just watched a very inspiring video of Tommy. Um, it was him with a bunch of artists he's worked with and helped produce, like uh, Miles Davis and Diana Krall. Uh, they held Tommy to the highest of esteem, and it really showed how well-renowned Tommy is. Uh, every day we walk through the halls in this, of the studio and we see Tommy's uh, pictures, the artists he's worked with, also his, you know, hundreds of plaques and medals. You know, he was as good as it gets, really. Um, as a recording arts student, I'm privileged to be here at the uh, Jill and Tommy Lacuna Center, uh, Center for Creative Arts. Uh, Tommy actually is the main reason we have the studios we have. Uh, as a producer, you know, as, as successful as he is, he's developed amazing relationships with other artists and composers who actually come to our school and give us advice on how to make it and how to, you know, be the best you can with music. Uh, what got me into music at a young age, I'll say about fifth grade, I first heard Kanye West. Um, at the time, I think it was 808s and Heartbreak, his album. I heard Heartless and Amazing. Uh, those songs stood out to me. Uh, really just changed my view of music because at the time it was just rock and roll, country music is what my parents listened to. And then listening to, you know, pop music, which is now hip hop, uh, really caught onto my ear. Then from fifth grade, say middle school, kind of went back to more of a rock, you know, identification with music for myself. But then onto high school, I start, started producing beats on my laptop and kind of got more surrounded with hip hop. And, you know, kind of find myself here now. Um, at the uh, recording arts program that we have, it's really helped me develop myself as a producer, engineer, and as an artist, because when you're in a studio, it really makes you realize, you know, how precise you have to be on everything you do for a record. Well, a good record, that is. So here, I've learned more than I could ever have imagined you know, I can definitely say that I myself have gotten a lot better. So a uh, piece of music I'm about to play on piano is Amazing by Kanye West. It's one of the first pieces I've ever learned on piano. Uh, 